Worms, viruses, unmanaged devices, that is what network security cops are facing when computers outside the network want to get in. Today we'll look at controlling the uncontrollable as we focus on network admission control design. What you don't often hear about is how NAC solutions deal with what we call agentless devices. We'll find out what network admission control solutions Cisco has to offer and whether NAC is ready for your network. Most enterprises today, they also have to act as ISPs because they have a daily influx of guests and consultants coming into their network. We'll explore the four deployment modes you should consider when implementing a NAC installation. The choices made here obviously can depend on the goals of your particular network. What is it you're going to get out of NAC and where are you in your deployment phase? That's right? correct. We'll take you through the design implications for VPN, wireless, remote sites, and campus. Realistically, it's possible to have all these designs in one campus type of deployment, isn't it? Each step of the way, we'll talk you through the harder questions like what happens when things fail and how to design for it. Kind of costly to put a yeah. server out at every remote site. Uh, Absolutely. Angels That's... are singing. <laughs> uh. And you'll learn how to account for non-PC devices without manual workarounds and dangerous trade-offs. We're checking network IDs at the door, but you can come on in. This is TechWise TV, technology you can use from geeks you can trust, only on the Cisco Interaction Network.